mission of the Offshore New Harbor project is to seismically image uh, the sediments below the seafloor underneath us, underneath the sea ice, looking for sediments of the greenhouse world uh, older than 34 million years ago. Well, we're sending a pulse of energy into the ground. In this case, it's a bubble of high-pressured air that we release from our air gun. That energy is released from the water column, which we lower the air gun into through a hole in the sea ice. Okay. That energy travels down through the water column, reflects off of the water bottom, reflects off of layers of rocks underneath. That reflection comes back to the surface. Sweet. And is recorded on these geophones that we have laid out in a streamer behind us. Those sound waves are going to basically be reflected off of anything underneath the water, and they're going to send back images to him of what the different layers look like, and that's how we're going to decide where to drill next time they come down. This is the uh, high-pressure air compressor that we use to power the seismic guns. Um, so it's the air source, the energy source that provides the big bang um, that sends energy down to the ocean floor. These cables are attached to the geophones. There are about 60 of them running back about a kilometer and a half that are picking up the vibrations um, from each explosion. All clear and back. My main job is the quality control of the data. Make sure that the air gun is working properly and that we're recording acceptable data. Often he'll have timing delay problems or maybe chambers not firing because the gun is freezing up. This computer monitors the air gun. It's talking to the shot control box, which is this orange box right here. Uh, this is the firing box over here. It's called the hot shot. And if you can hear that sound in the background, that's the firing of the air gun. This screen right here it gives me a real time reading of what's being recorded on each one of our recording devices or geophones that are laid out behind here. So I'm carefully monitoring that because we do have a windy day. Over here is the actual recorded uh, record file. And then I have other information in these two screens up here that tell me how, how well we're functioning. Okay. Next door, Stian is uh, watching the air to make sure we get up to pressure. And then it gives me the go ahead and I fire the gun. Go ahead. I keep track of where we are. Uh, along the line. And so later on when David puts this together, he'll be able to relate the actual shot that we took to the position we were at just by following this simple set of notes. And then we can take that information and build an image of what the rock layers look like underneath the ocean here and underneath the ocean bottom.
There's a pressure gauge attached to the thunder sled that measures the amount of tension on the cables and on the geophone. So if there's ever a pull, like on stuck on ice or stuck in snow, it's gonna start to um, increase. And that's how I know to tell the Challenger in the front to stop because something has too much tension on it.